Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing another goddamn movie review and today is going to be another Lovecraftian style movie. Shirt might be a hint. So we are going to be doing a movie review of Underwater starring Kristen Stewart. So just a little bit of a backstory before we get into uh, the uh, movie and what I thought of it. So Kristen Stewart. I was never really a big fan of Kristen Stewart. I've seen her in a lot of movies. I've seen her uh, on Saturday Night Live. Uh, what's that movie that made her famous? Toilet? I mean Twilight. Yeah, never a big fan of her. Uh, I did watch the Charlie's Angels movie uh, reboot with uh, Patrick Stewart and uh, I might do a movie review on that. Honestly, I enjoyed the, the, uh, I enjoyed the movie and uh, Kristen Stewart definitely uh, changed her game and actually liked her in that movie. So now, putting that aside, Underwater. Best part of the movie is actually Kristen Stewart. And she actually does a great freaking job in the, the, the role that she, uh, she played. I'm not going to be diving into uh, spoilers of the, uh, the movie. I, like, I might talk about certain spoilers, but I'm not going to show the, uh, the, the spoilers. So she, the movie starts off, uh, they're in an underwater uh, facility and she's brushing her teeth, uh, thinking about, uh, you know, her uh, past. And then all of a sudden she starts noticing a couple things that trigger her uh, instincts, you know, her intuition being a, uh, I believe she was a, uh, not a mechanic, but she was like an engineer. Uh, so she recognized some of the signs that uh, she was uh, seeing. movie starts off very quickly and it doesn't let you go throughout the entire thing. There's about maybe 10-15 minutes of downtime. The rest is all high tension. Uh, the cast was actually really well cast. Uh, I didn't really expect big things going into the movie. I like TJ Miller. He's funny. Uh, but originally when I saw Kristen Stewart, TJ Miller, uh, both in the movie, I was going to, I was figuring it was going to be, uh, he was going to be nothing but uh, jokes and uh, slapstick. Uh, he was jokes. He was a little bit of slapstick, but everything that he did in the, uh, the movie, uh, the jokes and uh, the humor were very much, uh, called for. These are ripped too. Come on. Kristen Stewart, uh, she did apparently her own stunts in this uh, movie, including the stunt where she's uh, running down the uh, the blowing up, flooding uh, hallways uh, that you see throughout the uh, the ship in the opening sequence of uh, the uh, the movie. Structural integrity compromised. 
So there is a wide variety of uh, diversity in the... So right away in the movie, Kristen Stewart takes command of her role, not just her acting role, but her role uh, as the, uh, the ship's engineer. And she has to make some on the moment decisions that we see very much impacting her uh, throughout the entire movie. She never forgets the sacrifice that, that she, uh, she had to make in the opening scene where they had to vacate that part of the ship and she was trying to get as many people out of that part of the ship as possible. But unfortunately there were crew that were not fast enough to make it to where they were and the really really gretching part is that they were literally this far from Stuart and the escaping crew but she had no choice so she didn't cut them off that very split second <laughs> the entire crew would have been uh, would have been gone so she had to make that split second call it was a hard call to make but make it she absolutely did and it saved lives Close the door, otherwise the whole rig will die. Shut the door now! So throughout the journey, they're trying to get to another ship in order to uh, survive, and it's a pretty treacherous uh, trip. We go for the Roebuck. The Roebuck? It's a mile down and a mile that way. What are you talking about? Yeah. How would we even get that? We walk. We what? Walk. We walk. That's what you dug me out of the rubble for? I can't walk. I don't even have a suit. Listen, listen. see T.J. Miller carrying this stuffed bunny throughout uh, his uh, appearance in the movie and that bunny, that stuffed bunny was actually supposed to be replaced with an actual bunny. I forget the reason why they left the stuffed bunny in instead of replacing it with uh, a, a, live, a live bunny but it kind of made uh, sense. Here, take him. Take this bunny. I bequeath it to you. If he doesn't make it, I'll haunt you. Let's go, guys. Uh, there's a lot of sacrifices that are made for uh, the crew's survival throughout the movie. Like, everybody does carry their own weight. One of the scenes that were really, really great was when they were exiting the primary ship to leave to go to the, uh, to the backup ship. Uh, one of the crew members gets his helmet and notices there was a crack in the screen. So he was supposed to actually pass that helmet to Kristen Stewart, but instead of passing the helmet to her without anybody knowing what was wrong with the helmet, he kept that helmet for himself and gave Kristen Stewart a perfectly intact helmet. So that sets up an obvious sacrifice, another sacrifice in the movie, and he does meet uh, his uh, demise, unfortunately, but it was purposeful to make sure that Kristen Stewart, because she is an important role to the crew, made sure that she survived it. If we have enough helmets, I just need you to find six good ones. Hey, Nora. Hey. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Why well, keep trying? Where do we go? Guys, what's going on? Keep the door closed! Keep that door closed! <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. 
Now, the reason why I point to the shirt is because we do have some elements of Lovecraft in the, uh, the movie. So we have some aquatic monsters. Uh, you never catch a full glimpse of what they look like. They're very, fa they're very fast. Uh, they really look, they really look cool. And we see towards the end of the movie, we see the how many of these creatures are actually uh, out there when they're uh, finally making their way to uh, the backup, uh, the backup ship. Get the pressure. Like we're fine. <laughs> What is that thing? All I know is that it was eating a dead body and then it came at me. Oh. Em, it, what are you doing? I, I'm, I'm just looking for... No, 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 no. See? We've had a lot of Lovecraftian movies. We've had a lot of Lovecraftian movies inspired by the likes of Cthulhu, but never have we actually had uh, a creature in a, in a Lovecraftian movie that was actually called, as far as I know, Cthulhu. <laughs> so we do actually see this huge, huge uh, amphibian, octopus-like uh, creature, like you have no doubt in your mind, it is, uh, 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 is Cthulhu-inspired. And when you do a little bit of research, you actually find out that the name of that creature in the movie is called Cthulhu. Laura! You sit back? What do you see? You sit back! Stewart makes the ultimate sacrifice. For those ones that have seen this movie, you know what I'm, you know what I mean over here. So if you have ever been curious about watching uh, Underwater, I very much recommend. It is one of these movies that you have to uh, watch. I watched it uh, twice, and likely I will watch it a second time. Uh, if you're a Kristen Stewart fan, you're going to love her in this movie. Uh, if you're a Kristen Stewart hater and you actually give her a chance, she was amazing in this movie. I really, really liked her. Too bad she, I'm not her type. <laughs> If you guys watched the movie, let me know what you guys thought of Underwater. If you have any other suggestions for movies you want me to review or give a chance, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like and all the other good stuff. You know, I don't ask for that stuff, but if you do, much appreciate it, but I much prefer you guys leave likes and comments. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay strong. I appreciate you. Now get the hell out of here. Let's go, Brendan. Emily Smith. Can you hear me? I'm still alive.